Hello people that's in the time so doing today I'm about to tell you a story about the cat man and the revenue man or the revenue woman we don't, we don't discriminate um, and basically we all know Kevin should take food on money sha and sha you know yourself when they come up the Kevin from Dublin in the revenue office sha um, they, they don't get much out of us you know yourself uh, because we always get the upper hand <laughs> Um, but yeah, the story goes, the story goes, listen to this lads and lassies, listen to this, listen to this, you might learn something about Cap and you might be able to tell your teachers. <laughs> but um, the story goes, you know when the revenue is coming to Cabin, the only reason why you know, and I'll tell you, we, uh, listen to this, listen to this clever logic. In Virginia, in County Cabin, before you go to Dublin, before you, the first town in Cabin, technically, you know as soon as, as soon as they go through cows, they go to Virginia, you know there's somebody there, there's a wingman there, as soon as they see the revenue is Cabin, they're like, lads. Virginia, they're coming. And then you just see everybody scoring out of the town of Virginia. The revenue goes uh, looking for their money, sure. And they and sure, they don't find anybody. They don't find anybody. They don't, they don't know where to go. Super sad. They don't know where to go, so they just go on pondering up the road. Sure, and sure, every place they go to is like a desert island. There's nobody at all. Apart from my, my man over there with his, um, with a sheep in a field. Um, not much use to sheep, um, and he won't give him his bottle of whiskey either. So, um, so Jesus, and the pond they're on in the Cat and Town show, and so the same thing happens there. So in Cat and Town, there's nobody there at all, and so they're all gone up to Black Lion Swan about up in the mountains with their big safes and everything. They're gone up, and that's that you know, that's where they hide from the revenue. <laughs> it's like Swedish, Swedish bank account, um, not any government ministers here, dude, <clears throat> um. But the story goes is, you know, they go into Kevin Town, right? They look around Kevin Town, and should yes, just they can't find anybody at all, sure. They find a few people from what's coming, but should yes, just they're no use. <laughs> Sorry to anybody from what's coming. But they're no use from what's coming, should yes, just Christ, why right didn't Kevin? And they don't know anything about Kevin at all. Um, but should yes, just everywhere they go, should they find a lake and a river, but they find no people. And should, and should they go up to the, they go up to the council office. They go up to the Cody Coulter's, Kevin Cody Coulter's office, and show Jesus Christ. They wouldn't walk and they were closed, lad. They were closed. And they showed the revenue couldn't understand how the county counts don't walk. Um, on a Saturday, they couldn't understand it, lad. They couldn't understand it. They couldn't understand how Kevin Cody Coulter don't walk on Saturdays. And then they realised, and then some smart adults from Dublin was passing by each other, and so they were like, Kevin Cody Coulter don't walk any day, so. And they were like, oh, that, well, that's true too, but, um, <laughs> that's true too, but should, Jesus, should they meet the money, shop? And do you know what they said? Should, what do you take to do with the world money, sir? They'll take the world money and they'll put it in their bank account, shall, and they don't, they don't, they don't give it to us, the world, should look out the world's out there, so, should, Jesus Christ, you can fall into a pothole, shall. And sure, and he says, fair enough, ah, shall. Should, true enough, and, should this man was only starting the job, should, Jesus Christ. And fair enough, he goes into the barracks, he goes across the road to the barracks, the girls' barracks. And sure, there was a man, there was one guard there, sure. And sure, he was from Tillery area, sure, he didn't know anything about Kevin. Sure, he was only here the last two weeks, and sure, he didn't know anything. He knew about Mrs. O'Wiley down the road, but Mrs. O'Wiley is, you know, uh, very friendly with some people. Sure, and sure, he knows all, he gets all Snapchats and everything, sure, Jesus Christ. Uh, and, and the revenue was it was like, that's okay, you pay your tax, so sure, sure, Jesus. Uh, but might pop, I might pop down to Mrs. O'Reilly. And long behold, long behold, he goes through the streets of Kevin. There's nobody at all. There's really nobody at all having the boys from what's coming. So they are no use either. <laughs> I went taking bits of what's coming here, but anyway. And so he goes up to Mrs. O'Reilly's house, uh, perhaps the fire station up in uh, uh, Swelling. And so Jesus Christ, Mrs. O'Reilly was there. And so Jesus Christ, it was the only person in Kevin who was there. And so he didn't know at all. So he didn't understand it. Why is the one cabin person here? He knocks on the door, and Mrs. O'Reilly now she's a good she's in her fifty sure. Yes, she's a bit old now. She's a bit, she's a bit, uh, she's a bit uh, tight with the money too. But anyway, they sure you get that dressed already. Um, sure, yes, she he knocks on Mrs. O'Reilly's door, sure, and sure, yes, Mrs. O'Reilly comes to the door, and wouldn't you know it? She says, "I'm not from Kevin. Why do you think I be from Kevin from here?" And so Jesus, she says, I'm from a county carry, and so Jesus, we never sticked up in the hilly ways, no, so I have to come up to Kevin, because there's nobody else than carry to take me, because I yes, yes, and, and so he says, fair enough, then you pay your taxes, fair enough, um, and he goes around to the rest of the houses, finds nobody, 
finds nobody. Then he realises, wait a second, there's the note of Calvin, up by Black Lion Swan and Bar, about Tobit, that's what he are. And showed, yes, he gets in his fan, and showed, and showed, you know, he goes through every place in the ghost town. Um, and so one, uh, but he goes into a, he goes into a school. He goes into one of the local schools in Kievan before he goes out. And should Jesus, so he had to look um, and see what they were doing, the projects they were doing, to see what they were doing in Kievan. And uh, you know what the first project he looked at was? How to save money in Kievan? Step one, don't give anybody anything. Step two, keep your money like an ignorant cut. <laughs> Step three, if a woman looks for your money, run away. Step four. Know how to do with the cabin way. And what's the cabin way, you may ask? Well, you have to find that out. Listen to this. So he ponders up the road, so he goes to Butler's Bridge, and uh, so he doesn't see me because I'm a bit tight with the money, you know. <laughs> um, so he ponders up and he's like, that cut there was not here, so oh, fucking me, he began, so. And he ponders up the road now, he goes into Bell Torbert, and she's like, there's nobody here, there's German tourists, but who are they? And he's like, and so he noticed one of them was kind of like, um, Kind of like Anger Mocha. And she just, she had to go over and have a look, sure. And sure, he got her Snapchat and everything, and it turned out it was the German Prime Minister, uh, German Chancellor. And sure, yes, she made a new friend. And she couldn't understand where everybody from Cabin went. She said they all just left. They all just left. I even seen the coffin going, she said. And she just, and he was like, This is strange. Everybody in Cabin's not here. It sounds like the apocalypse. And she just, you know what he decides to do because he's in Beltorbid. Sure, he decided to go up to Vermano. Just for the spin, for a bit of coffee up in Fermanagh. And I should Jesus, you know, in Fermanagh there's people everywhere. There's people, as soon as he crosses the border, he's like, there's people in Fermanagh, where are the people in Kevin? And so he's like, and should the people, in, he asks the people in Fermanagh, because he doesn't know much about Kevin. And he knows there's a lot of lakes. And so Jesus, he happened to go into a pharmacy in Fermanagh, so Jesus, and God help him and God bless him and save us. The people in Fermanagh said, ah, oh, should Jesus, you know that Kevin people should always play tricks. They have offshore bike accounts in County Cabin, and so you'll never know where you're going when in County Cabin. There's no signposts down there at all, and the walls are in bits. And he's like, oh, that's true, that's true, there's no signposts, because uh, Jesus Christ, the council don't walk on a Saturday. Oh, sure, Jesus, I didn't think they walked in. <laughs> and so he's like, oh, sure, you know, typical, typical, the same in Dublin, so they don't walk at all. Um, should they walk in the dirty hours, and that's all they do, sure. So. And so, Jesus Christ, so he goes back down the boat forward. Nobody there apart from Joan Tourist again. And it's like, right, so um, I head up to um, up um, Swan the Bar, Black Guy, up that direction. I'm sure Jesus, I go up the mountains. And he finds a lot of sheep. Finds a lot of sheep. And even the sheep are very tight. And uh, they had a bit of food. One of the one should be they stop off and I, he was looking at the sheep. I'm sure Jesus Christ, the sheep were even as tight as the people. And sure Jesus, they ran away as soon as they seen the revenue. What oh God, he was like, how tight are these people from Kevin? And I'm sure Jesus, he makes it up to Blackland Swan about up among the mountains, up there. And I'm sure but Jesus, he finds a good lot of Irish Kevin people with saves. And I'm sure Jesus, it turned into the cock and bull story. And I'm sure they all ran around the gaff. And I'm sure it was like, and he was like, oh, sure, the hell with this, I'm going home. And I'm sure he didn't get down the road very good, sure. Jesus Christ, sure. Yeah, wouldn't you know, um, Mrs. O'Wiley, when he was in Mrs. O'Wiley's house, she happened to tap her with. Um, the exhaust and the engine, oh Jesus, and let me tell you this bit lads and ladies, let me tell you this bit, she was actually a spy for Kevin, and she was actually an informer for Kevin, for the Kevin people to tell them when they're coming to a whole estate, and sure Jesus, and wouldn't you know it, so he, t he said I'm giving up, I'm going to ask him for ways, because this is too much hassle, and so he was in for me the other day, sure, and he was fine, he done fine down there, and so Jesus Christ, he said, I'm going home now, because I'm better put this crack. And sure, Jesus, he'd gotten his fan, sure. And sure, he didn't know where to go now. He didn't know, should he go home and tell his boss that he didn't know where Kiev, no people in Kiev and what did they do with them. And sure, they open the mountains, how would they put that to them? And sure, they probably already know, but sure, Jesus, we might as well tell them something to talk about. And, <laughs> and sure, Jesus, when he started up the fan, sure, that he knew himself that he had to go down a lot of mountains. And should Jesus, the poor man himself, he went off a cliff. And should we ended up in pig shit? <laughs> and should we had to stay? Oh no, because nobody in Cavan, nobody in Cavan wanted to mess their clothes up and have to pay dry cleaner. So he stayed there for the rest of his life. The end. What a great story. <laughs> Sound out on the markets, that's. But anyway, this is just to have a laugh. This is just, with all this coronavirus, you know, to take a few minutes, you know, 
clear your head and just relax and listen to my triple. <laughs> um, that's actually a true story. True story. It's going to be an old sound tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but anyway, just have a laugh at this because it was a very funny video. And just trying to get people's hopes up in mind out of the coronavirus situation. So have a laugh. And laugh with my stupidity. Thank you.